Well, on the night of Monday, September 11th, on uh, 7.15 or 7.45, uh, I was sitting eating dinner and I went upstairs to finish watching my shows and I got started up the steps and I, I started smelling smoke, but there was no smoke in the house. And when I got to the top of the steps, I looked out my window, the top step of the window, and I seen that the, the shed was fully engulfed. And then I yelled down and told everybody to get out. The house was going up next. The house, the shed was on fire. The house was going up next. And I called 911, and they came, they showed up, and they fought the fire for hours. It's been really hard on the, on the family. It's actually, on Tuesday it was my mom's birthday. She died what two years ago, or something, give or little, take. About a little over a year and a half. Give or take a couple months, and it's just been devastating ever since. The f I've been a volunteer firefighter for like 15 years, give or take a couple years, and they wouldn't even let me fight this fire because it's it was my house and. They just, they just didn't want me to do anything stupid to get myself injured. If it wasn't for me, somebody would have been hurt, either burnt or something would have happened. And how, how, how hard was it to stand here and watch, watch your house burn being a firefighter yourself? It was very devastating. I, I broke down crying at least five, six times throughout the event. Just walking around and talking to fellow firefighters out there, everything got calmed down a little bit. And it was just, just it's still shocking to me. I'm sure it's shocking to all the family yet, even close family, distance family, which they can't be here. I know they're probably still in shock. I, I still can't believe it happened. Do you have any idea how it started? Uh, fire marshal determined it on. Uh, the fire marshal determined that uh, um, it was undetermined due to the extent of the damage. You can't find the source, but from what we told him and what I just explained to you, that he believes it is electrical uh, in nature, accidental in nature. But I'm pretty sure he said he couldn't write it in like that. He just had to write it in as undetermined, too much damage to to determine the cause of the actual cause of the fire. Mm -hmm. So you've been at many fires um, since you you said you started volunteering in 2002. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so so you know you've been at many fires and seen you know many homeowners devastated and yeah. You know how is it to be that person yourself now? It's I never truly uh, felt what they were feeling until Monday night. And now I know how everybody else will feel when their own house goes up in flames. You lose everything you ever owned. Mm -hmm. You've seen it go up in flames in 10, 15 minutes. It was basically all gone by then. Mm -hmm. It was a very fast moving storm. Of course, this house was built in the early 50s, maybe even late 40s. So it, it was just a way fast moving fire.